Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network and joining me today from metal explorer and developer Wolf Minerals is its CEO and Managing Director Russell Clark. Russell, welcome to Minds of Money here in London. Thanks, Lelda. Wolf Minerals' flagship project is your Hemden Tungsten and Tin project. Where is it located and what makes it unique? Wolf's Hemden project is located in the southwest of England, near Devon. And it's uh, primarily unique because it's been the first metal mine in England for 45 years. It's a tungsten project. The company is listed on both the ASX and AIM exchanges, Australia-based, but developing an English project. What is the rationale behind being based here in England? When Wolf was listed, it had tenements in New South Wales. Uh, they didn't go anywhere, and the, uh, the company then became aware of the tungsten project in Devon. And it made sense once we'd picked that project up to list on the AIM. Now, if we can look closer at tungsten, global tungsten demand is forecast to grow by up to 50% between 2010 and 2015. Where is this demand coming from? So tungsten demand tends to follow global GDP growth. You're seeing China growing at 7%. You're seeing America and Europe begin to wake up. And the demand for tungsten is expected to increase by about four to 5,000 tonnes a year. Hemiden will produce 3,500 tonnes. So we're looking at one of these projects coming on each year. Only besides the Hemiden project, we can't see any more in the pipeline. The British Geological Survey named tungsten as a top five strategically important metal in 2011. What makes tungsten so critical and where do you anticipate potential customer demand will come from? Tungsten is regarded as a strategic or critical metal primarily because China produces the bulk of it. So America, Japan, Europe see it as a strategic or a critical metal because tungsten gets used in in a lot of shaping and cutting of industrial product. So everything that people have in their house has seen tungsten. Now, Russell, if we can look closer at your Hemiden project in the southwest of the UK, what is the size of the resource and what are your ambitions for the project? So we have over 400 million tonnes of resource, but we only have 25 million tonnes of reserve, which really gives you a sense of the expandability of this project. Um, we have planning permission. We will develop the mine within that planning permission for about 10 years. Uh, we plan to start production in 2015. But there is great potential with this project to either extend the length or increase the production on an annual basis. Now, the project was acquired in 2007 and a definitive feasibility study completed in 2011. What did it reveal about the project's viability? The DFS showed that this project was financially very robust. And that's demonstrated by the fact that we've got some great cornerstone investors through RCF and Todd Corporation, and the fact that we've been able to put £75 million worth of project development in place with three development banks. Uh, that really speaks volumes for this project at a time when the world's been pretty flat financially. And what has occurred at Hamilton since the DFS, and what are your highlights from this year? So we've got a lot going on at the moment. We've established a management team on the site, We've established project finance. We've appointed GR Engineering as the engineering contractor, and we expect that they will start on site in early 2014. We have been working on an environmental permit and the purchase of some property, both of which are prerequisites to starting this project, and both of which we expect to be finalised in December this year. Now, Wolf Minerals is aiming to be in production in 2015. What has to occur before then and what are your immediate priorities? So our immediate priority is to get the construction company, GR Engineering, on the site in early 2014. They will take a year to build the project and will commission it in the first half of 2015, such that full, full speed production will be happening about mid-2015. And Russell, how has the company planned to fund the project? The, uh, the funding package is broadly in place. We have project finance to the tune of £75 million from three banks, and we have a bridging loan provided to us by RCF, which we will be replacing with equity during 2014. Finally, Russell, as you position Wolf Minerals to reach production, how do you anticipate producer status will change the company? Look, this producer status will change this company enormously. Um, we will have cash flow. We will have the opportunity to look at other projects. We'll have the opportunity to expand this project 
and the expertise that we have in house will increase enormously. Russell Clark, thanks for joining us in London today and introducing us to Wolf Minerals. Thanks, Elder.